Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the basics of QEMU KVM Vert Manager Virtualization for Beginners. My name is Jasmine and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking and cloud pro fast. Today, we are diving into the world of virtualization with QEMU, KVM, and Vert Manager. If you're a beginner looking to set up and manage virtual machines on your Linux system, you're in the right place. We'll cover everything from the basics of virtualization to installing and configuring QEMU, KVM, and Vert Manager. By the end of this video, you'll have the knowledge and confidence to create and run your own virtual machines with ease. Before getting started, let's quickly go over some key components we'll be using. First up, we have QEMU. QEMU stands for Quick Emulator, and it's a powerful open-source machine emulator and virtualizer. It allows you to run software designed for one machine on a completely different machine. This makes QEMU incredibly versatile and useful for a wide range of virtualization tasks. Next, we have KVM, which stands for Kernel-Based Virtual Machine. KVM is a Linux hypervisor that allows you to run multiple virtual machines on a Linux host. It's built into the Linux kernel, providing excellent performance and stability for your virtual machines. Lastly, there's Vert Manager. Vert Manager, or Virtual Machine Manager, is a user-friendly graphical interface for managing virtual machines via libvirt. It simplifies the process of creating, configuring, and managing virtual machines, making it perfect for both beginners and advanced users. With these tools, you can perform a variety of tasks, such as running multiple operating systems simultaneously, testing software in different environments, setting up isolated development environments, and even simulating networks for educational purposes. The possibilities are endless. So, let's get started. I've already got VirtualBox installed and set up. I've selected the Live Virtual Machine and clicked on Start. This will bring up a new screen. Select the option Try or Install Ubuntu. The installation has begun. Once the VM starts, we need to install Ubuntu. Remember, every time you open the VM, you'll go through this process. Ubuntu is now preparing to open. Select English and click Next. Again, click Next. Select US English, choose the option for a wired connection, and click Next. Click on Update. The installer will start updating. Once that's done, click Close Installer to close the window. Next, click on the Start menu and launch the terminal. It's time to run some commands to install KVM on Ubuntu 24.04. First, we need to ensure our processor supports virtualization. Open the terminal and use the lscpu command. To filter for virtualization support, type lscpu i a a grep virtualization. If you see virtualization vtx for Intel processors or AMD V for AMD processors, you're good to go. If there is no output, unfortunately, your processor doesn't support virtualization. Make sure virtualization is enabled in your BIOS settings. The interface varies by manufacturer, so look for something like VTD and ensure it's enabled. Next, let's make sure our system is up to date. In the terminal, type sudo apt update. It is updating the packages in the terminal. This step ensures that all the latest security patches and software updates are applied to your system, providing a stable environment for our virtualization setup. Now, let's install QEMU and KVM. Enter the command. sudo apt install QEMU KVM. You might notice there's no auto-completion for this package. That's because QEMU KVM is a virtual package. It's a placeholder for several different packages depending on your platform. We need libvirt, a virtualization API, to work with KVM. Install these packages by typing the command sudo apt install libvirt daemon system. Also, make sure to install the libvirt daemon package and ensure it's enabled. sudo systemctl enable libvirt d and in sudo systemcl, start libvirtd. Next, add your user to the KVM group with the command sudo aduser user kvm this step is essential because it grants your user account the necessary permissions to use kvm to ensure kvm was installed correctly use the viarsh command if it responds you're all set 
Finally, let's install Vert Manager, a graphical interface for KVM, using this command, sudo apt install Vert Manager. Now, after the successful installation of Vert Manager, open it by using the command, sudo Vert Manager. If you see QEMU slash KVM listed, everything is set up correctly. Let's create a new virtual machine. Click Create a new virtual machine and select Local Install Media. Browse to your Ubuntu 24.04 ISO file and then click on Forward. Allocate the desired memory and CPUs for your VM. For beginners, I recommend starting with at least 2 GB of RAM and 2 CPUs if your host system allows it. Decide how much disk space to allocate for the virtual disk. Typically, 20 GB is sufficient for a standard Ubuntu installation, but you can adjust this based on your needs. Give a name to your virtual machine and create it. Once created, start the virtual machine to see it in action. Here we have a virtual instance of Ubuntu running on top of your physical host. And there you have it. We've successfully set up QEMU, KVM, and Vert Manager on our Linux system and created a virtual machine. Whether you're a developer, IT professional, or just curious about virtualization, this setup will give you a powerful environment to work with. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more tech tutorials and guides. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.